Welcome to the Dumb Dumb News Channel. I'm your host Dumb Dumb. Today we will watch and listen to Candace Owens roast LeDumb James, oops, I mean LeBron James, the high-profile NBA basketball player for his recent political remarks against authorities. If you are new to the channel please like, share, subscribe, and leave your comments below. That way the channel will grow. It is every issue and it's obviously just name calling and it seems to me could be completely foolish and people are not awake to what the Democrat strategy is here. You know, they use people that are false prophets like LeBron James to pro propagate a lot of these lies, particularly the Black Lives Matter lie. That seems to be almost the biggest one. The race lie um, has been permeating throughout every element of culture. You have LeBron James who lives amongst white people in a hundred million dollar, a hundred million dollar Bel Air mansion who is protected by white people, protected by uh, presumably undercover officers and things of that nature everywhere he goes and you know to his games back and forth there are police officers that are constantly surrounding him and yet he, he puts out this lie and the president is correct to call him president trump is correct to say that lebron james himself is racist not only that but he doesn't care about black people if lebron james cared about black people he'd point to the truth the truth is that if you care about black people you have to talk about black on black crime upwards than 95 percent of black homicide victims are killed by other black people what he actually cares about is just making sure that he himself is situated as a king while the peasants beneath him, he calls himself the king. The peasants beneath him and that follow him all invest in this lie, destroy their own communities, and yes, kill each other as would have been the circumstance if that police officer had not have intervened. Every single weekend, and I, this goes back to the Biden Obama years, Leo. I can come on this program every Monday and tell you how many people were shot in the city of Chicago. I could tell you many how many people were shot and killed in the city of Chicago and a lot of other big cities every single weekend. Murder rates are skyrocketing all over the country. There is no, there, this defund the police, dismantle the police, it's not working. Why don't we ever hear the names of all the people shot every weekend? Why is it only a case that can be used politically? Why is it we only hear about those lives? It's very simple. It's all about power. And what you're describing is what has been going on in democratic cities for years. Listen, they talk about racism. I'm a civil rights attorney. I know what systemic racism is. It does not exist in Chicago, in LA, in Baltimore. When the people running the show are black people, brown people, chief of police, they only play the white officer card against a black victim. Candace pointed out all the numbers, but they play the race game, and guess what? The Democrats drink that Kool-Aid. There is a disconnect, Sean, between the Democratic hierarchy that live like kings and they brainwash the Democratic voters who live like peasants. I want to make one other point. That white sign that you made reference to, that sign is very, very insulting. And basically, the extreme left has declared war on white Americans and white police officers and the Democratic leadership will not say a word because they're in bed with the extreme left. That's what's going on in America. It happens not every two years or four years. It's going on 24-7.